serious side of the candy drop. That was when uh, Carol Halverson uh, dropped the candy on handkerchiefs over in Germany. But this is the one that uh, we've been doing for 24 years. And uh, it is one of the, uh, the favorites, particularly kids' favorites. The uh, number of kids have grown every year that we've done this. When we first started doing this, we used to drop about 50, can or 50 pieces of candy. And we had a very small airplane that uh, would hold 50 pieces of candy. And it turned out that we started having a lot of kids that uh, didn't get candy, and so we thought we need to come up with a better solution. So the gentleman that's getting ready to fly this airplane here is Roger Schultz. Roger lives up uh, towards North Liberty, out on the reservoir. And he said, I'll settle that problem. And so he got the plans for what they call a, a telemaster, a giant telemaster. This plane is, I believe, a 156-inch wingspan, and uh, it'll hold pounds of candy. It weighs approximately 50. So what we're going to do... Roger's going to take off, we're going to keep the kids back, he's going to make a circle, and he's going to have a guy helping him, uh, you might want to have somebody help him call the uh, the drop zone, can we get somebody down, okay, Joe, you're going to help him, because he can't take his eye off the plane, so he needs to have somebody kind of tell him that he's over the runway. So what you do, um, he went ahead and he built this uh, this aircraft, and what we do, we put uh, touchy rolls in here, and we tie streamers onto it. We fly over, and once the plane's safely out of the way, we go ahead and uh, release the kids. And if you think kids are slow and uh, don't want to uh, get up and, uh, and move, wait till you see how they move when they drop this candy. So anyway, we have arrow hops out there protecting those wells. We have a few things for anybody to hit. So Roger, uh, go ahead, take it off, and we'll let him get up uh, in the air. So I started to say, uh, Roger built this telemaster. Well, this isn't the first telemaster. This is actually the second telemaster. Uh, back, unfortunately, back in 2009, we were practicing for the air show, about three days before the air show. This plane obviously doesn't fly every day, so it gets out probably once a year. Some of these planes here are, do the exact same thing, so it's not uncommon. Three days before practicing at the air show, he had a structural problem. One of the struts broke, and the plane went in and crashed. And we were devastated. We know what we're going to do for the kids. So we actually had a helicopter drop that year. Derek Powers came up with an innovative uh, drop box, and so we were able to carry it through. And while they're doing it, it looks like Tim's bringing his plane back. I think it's okay. Is it all right, Tim? Tim, thumbs up. All right. That, he landed around the bean field. No damage. All right. Bombs away. There we go. All right, here again, like I say, they didn't have to go too far. I've seen these things land over in the landfill. And we've had kids lost over there. We haven't seen them for days. Okay, not just half of them. These are the, uh, the one-year-old to six-year-old being assisted by their parents. Now, we realize that some kids are going to grab more than one, and uh, some are not going to get any. We figured that out, too, after one year of uh, having a bunch of crying kids. We decided maybe we better have some candy in the bag, a bag that we could actually hand out. So if you didn't get some candy, see one of the guys in the yellow shirt there, and we'll make sure you take some home with you. Okay, Roger's bringing the Telemaster in. You can see it's a real, real floater. And he had to kind of land a little bit downwind, but we want to keep the plane away from the children. Safety is our, our main concern here today. So he's going to bring it back, load it up. 